Ravel's Bolero is one of the most hypnotizing and transporting pieces of music for sure. I think if one hasn't heard it before, uh, they'll notice how the audience becomes transfixed by the, that soul snare drummer starting off. And there's just something that everybody's attention is just drawn to that one player. And as each orchestra member joins in with their huge solo, and the piece becomes more fragrant and um, starts to really build and then toward that raucous ending. It's just, it, it's really like a, a tour through the orchestra. It's one of those pieces, even if you've heard it a million times, you know, it's like kissing someone. Like, just because you've kissed them 10,000 times doesn't make it any, any less exciting. I feel very proud that the Phoenix Symphony is among a very uh, distinguished group of orchestras and uh, opera companies who present the world premiere of Osvaldo Goliath's music. The piece is written for four uh, virtuoso soloists, including um, one of them is a, is a laptop operator. So uh, Jeremy Flower operates his laptop with all the, the sound, beautiful sounds he can make. But we're also going to be importing some, some just uh, remarkable accordion uh, player, percussion, uh, and an Iranian a special Iranian instrument, and this collaboration with the MIM in this um, in this co-commission with the Musical Instrument Museum, hopefully means that people can hear the sounds of the Goliath and hear the sounds of those instruments, and then either have already experienced or go up and experience those instruments in the in the museum setting. I'll be thrilled to be welcoming Osvaldo to Phoenix, which I believe will be for the first time. So we'll have him for our intermission insights, and he'll be here for rehearsals. And um, I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity for people to interact with him. He's a really wonderful guy. And since we have featured his music in the years past, I hope that people will have some specific questions or thoughts for him or share their, share their feelings about his music. John Curliano is Brooklyn-born, New York-based composer. He's written uh, for the Metropolitan Opera, for the New York Philharmonic, and then that just goes out around the world. He's written uh, this music. He's now a professor of composition at Juilliard School. John is a very theatrical composer. He likes the people playing his music to have a lot of fun and to make really specific sounds and to be quite independent at times. Piano Concerto is uh, an interesting piece. It's quite early in terms of his compositional output. It's big music. I mean, it's real um, upbeat, kind of dancing, um, charming music, really. I, I don't really know how to best describe to describe it any better than that. It's, it's the kind of new music that you start to hear and you think, oh, good, because it's going to be, <laughs> this is going to be OK. <laughs> It, it just has this nice kind of frolicking, bustling energy. It's a great first introduction to his music for the audience. Yeah. 